parent who wants your kid to have more interest in science because you realize the importance of STEM education or you feel like they're not getting the hands-on instruction you would like in the classroom, or if you're a teacher who's trying to bring more hands-on learning to your state-mandated curriculum, stick with me. Hi, my name is Brenda Pretty, founder of Steamstational and Jarring Science and the author of The Mason Jar Scientist. You've probably tried a lot of other science programs and many of them fell by the wayside because they didn't actually address the key problems that your child and you're having with your current science curriculum. You've probably tried experiments that were beyond your child's current developmental level, so they got frustrated and didn't want to do it anymore. Or maybe you spent a lot of money on really expensive science kits. Then when you open them up, you realize that it's just basically food coloring and a plastic volcano. Maybe you've even bought science curriculum or science experiment kits in the past that are literally sitting in your closet right now because you've never opened them. I work with a lot of parents and educators who really want to provide hands-on science for their students, for their children, for their grandchildren, but there's things that just get in the way that keep us from engaging and providing these resources for our children like we really want to do. I understand these struggles because I was there too. But what if it wasn't about that? What if science is simply just allowing a child to explore and find their own answers to questions that they're already asking? By changing how you think about science and hands-on experiments, you can literally change how your child views the world. These mindset shifts establish lasting learning patterns that travel with your child beyond the classroom, beyond elementary school, beyond college, into their futures, and help them learn how to become problem solvers, innovators, and critical thinkers. Let me share with you a bit of my story so you can understand where I came from. Growing up, science was always kind of an afterthought for me. My curriculum was mostly textbook based. We hardly did any laboratories or classroom experience or anything like that. So naturally, I thought I hated science. My only experience with science was the tests and the textbooks and the reading and the studying of old dead dudes mostly. Not interested. So fast forward 10, 15 years or so, I get married and I had my first child. And as she started to grow up and develop her own interest, she had an incredible interest in learning about animals. The only thing she wanted to watch on TV were animal documentaries. Any book that we had purchased for her, she only wanted to read the fact books, science books, anything, animal science, biology, plants, space, she was into. I didn't know what to do with a daughter who was more interested in science than fairy tales. So I had to find a way to facilitate her interests and make sure that she was getting all of the education she needed in that area. During her early elementary years, we were also a homeschooling family, so it was 100% my responsibility as her teacher to come up with the curriculum that fit her interests and needs. To further complicate the issue, my daughter has ADHD. So she's not really interested in sitting and reading like another kid might be. She has to have her brain engaged on a higher level. She's a learn by doing kind of person. I searched through every science curriculum that I could find at the time and what I found is that most of the curriculum options available to us were not engaging on that hands-on level and they weren't providing the, the level of scientific inquiry and scientific discovery that I really wanted her to have. I started making our own lessons. I didn't know a lot about science myself since I wasn't that interested in it in school and I'm certainly no scientist. So we kind of explored and discovered that area together. And what we discovered is that there is a pretty easy system that you can implement that will facilitate true scientific inquiry and discovery within the confines of jars is what we found was the easy thing to use in our house. And so we started doing all of our experiments in jars. And it's just what we found when we were doing these experiments is that sometimes it's a really small barrier that keeps 
parents from doing these sorts of activities with their kids because they'll run into that one little hiccup like not having the right container to do the science experiment in and the activity never gets done. So by providing these experiments that can be done within the confines of a jar that almost everyone has in their kitchen, whether it's a pickle jar, a mason jar, something left over from a gift you got one time, we've opened up the world of science to more families. And so now more families can have that experience of true scientific inquiry and discovery, which helps build the foundations when children are young for them to become innovators, problem solvers, and critical thinkers.